Carter Vi was like many other nine-year-olds. He loved music and soccer, says his mom. He loved his family so hard. Last week, Carter was playing outside in the morning and seemed fine. His parents say the wildfire smoke worsened as the day went on. Given his asthma, they monitored him closely. By dinner time, he was coughing uncontrollably. That's when they rushed him to the hospital in 100 Mile House. When I carried him out from the house to the truck, he kind of like, kind of looked up at me and he's like, oh man, he's like, I don't like the feeling of this. Inside the ER, they describe an army of staff performing CPR for 25 minutes. It wasn't enough. Carter died at 7.20 that night. This is obviously a, a, a terrible, terrible tragedy and every parent's worst nightmare. BC's coroner confirms wildfire smoke was a factor in Carter's death. This case has now sparked a provincial safety bulletin warning of the dangers of wildfire smoke. When it comes to, uh, to air quality, uh, it is monitored on a, you know, a, a daily basis uh, and that uh, I think people need to pay attention to that. Oh, it's far more common than we think. In fact, this respirologist says one in four patients he sees during wildfire season is related to air pollution. We know wildfires can trigger asthma attacks. And experts only expect more cases linked to air quality in the future. We have levels in northern BC in particular that are about 40 times higher than what the World Health Organization recommends. So we're, we're starting to understand a lot more about this, um, but this is, as, as Jess, just the tip of the iceberg. The advice from doctors, if you have breathing problems, stay inside as much as possible. I'm hoping that people realize how quickly it can turn because we had his asthma under control. We were so diligent. And yet a family, an entire community, is left to mourn a little boy whose smile lit up a room. Tanya Fletcher, CBC News, Vancouver.